So uh, hi there everyone, this is again Alan and today I'm gonna be unboxing, testing and swatching my Daniel Smith Ultimate Mixing Set which I got just yesterday, December 15, from this art room in Cebu. So what makes me even more excited about this watercolor set is that because I think or I believe that I'm one or I'm one of the first one to have this in the Philippines because um, I think it's only uh, this art room who's distributing this Daniel Smith set, ultimate mixing set as of the moment. So I'm excited because I am a huge fan of Daniel Smith and I've been collecting tubes. So now, now that they're having half pants, I'm so excited. So let's do this. So uh, I received this package from LBC. It is very um well packaged. By the way, I'm shooting in our roof deck, so my apologies if I I'm having um, unnecessary noises. And aside from the ultimate mixing set, I also got um, three troops, but I'm not uh, swatching them. They're um, chromium green oxide, uh, cobalt teal, blue, and serpentine genuine. And the star is here. in bubble wrap so this is the ultimate mixing set it comes in half pans and in 15 colors and according to uh, the website there are two plastic palettes in this box at the back are some information in different languages and some warnings and information so let's open it it's still sealed so let me carefully open this side by the way i got it for 5308 philippine pesos or yeah roughly 100 us dollars so this is oh it's really tiny This is the uh, empty uh, set, and this is the one. It perfectly fits my my palm. I was expecting a bigger, a bigger palette. And this is the information card. So here, this is the set I, that I got, and this is Jane Blundell. Blundell which is the one i think who chose the colors for the sets that that, that the daniel smith released for this series because it's not only the mixing set they also have the blues the colors of inspiration and etc so the card set contains the information even the uh information of the sets that are not included in the box I mean the other sets yeah so let's have that later so this is the star is this oh it's not um, it's tape okay it's glued I'm unique all colors inside are, ma are made with highest pigment load possible, hand poured and dried to specific water retention levels. You may notice that some colors may have pulled slightly away from the side or corner or may have roundness to them. This is normal for our hand poured product. Be assured that every pan has undergone multiple rigorous quality control process and only passes if it meets our strict standard for both volume and and density regardless its final shape so I'm actually not expecting a very leveled or a very equal looking half pants because I have been making um, or I've been pouring my own half pants from tubes and it's not uh, you know it's not an easy task it's not it's not a walk in in the park definitely so I'm not expecting a perfect job here because 
as they say they're claiming that it's hand poured so let's see how do i open this it's quite hard <laughs> I, sorry i am i'm doing it the wrong side so it's here so this is how it looks some are sticking to the cover it looks good it's just a little bit messy so let me uh, clean let me blow some so some are filled up to the brim and some are and it's a little bit moist still moist let me just clear from uh, clear it from some I think the dusts are also from the the dusts are actually paint chips so I need to uh, clear it because it might affect my swatching later so that's it let me check oh it's let me check so this half it's just a it's a typical uh, half pan that we can get online and the other empty uh, extra half pan which is cool because you might not want all the colors here and you can make your own palette with the colors of your choice oh the half pants from here have Daniel Smith in it so this is interesting this is more branded half pants by the way so uh, let's proceed to swatching so earlier I have prepared my swatch card which has all the colors of the, fi the 15 colors and I hope I arranged them accordingly I guess, I guess so so this is a 185 arches paper that I cut to fit my leather journal so let me just zoom in my camera a little bit so there you go so let's begin with buff titanium let me just zoom in a little bit more sorry for that so this is buff titanium see through it very easily buff titanium is on the pick by the way these colors are not are not new to me because I've already uh, made a set um, this um, this exact exact the same exact set, <laughs> exact set before but um, I still got interested to getting these now that it's out because I'm very much interested to the to the cover or to the palette with the Daniel Smith logo in it because I'm such a, a fan of this brand anyway let's but let's return to swatching so this is Hansa yellow medium next we have Kinakridon gold see the colors are really popping out next we have Pyrrol scarlet According to the online dictionary, it's pronounced as Pyrrol. <laughs> so, although I hear Pyrrol most of the time, I'm saying it's Pyrrol, Scarlet. Next is Permanent Alizarin Crimson. Next, we have Kinacridone Rose. I was just wondering why Jane 
did not include a cool yellow here a lemon yellow or a Hansa yellow light most colors are on the warm side maybe the Hansa yellow medium can can manage maybe so here's ultramarine blue next we have cerulean blue chromium I love this blue because it's cool and it's granulating as well I love it for uh, skies next we have halo blue green shade this is a strong cool blue next is halo green blue shade I also wish um, uh, there is one more green in this set like maybe a, a serpentine or a chromium or a sap green maybe or green appetite because I uh, paint a lot of landscapes but anyway they have uh, other sets if you uh, have other colors that you prefer this is how do you pronounce it? Gothite, according to the dictionary. There's like an R, Gothite. This is like their ochre, yellow ochre. I actually prefer prefer this than uh, yellow ochre because it's it has more character for me. It's uh, more granulate. It's granulating and it feels more transparent than yellow ochre. This next, uh, this next color is burnt sienna. Another warm brown. Next is my favorite PR one hundred one Indian, Indian red. Next we have uh, raw umber which is a staple in my uh, palette and of course the uh, only unique color to this set the Jane's, Bray, Jane's Gray uh, Jane's Gray is a combination of ultramarine blue and raw umber and Jane named it after herself and it goes like this it looks like a uh, lighter pa uh, paints gray oops yeah but it's it's beautiful so here is our Daniel Smith Ultimate Mixing Set. Here are the colors. So now I'm trying to make a landscape painting out of this set here. So let me just make it quick. So I'm trying to use the palette that they have but it's not it cannot be uh, laid flat so let's try to adjust <laughs> Big. let's try to adjust based on what is already here so what I love about this set is that it has lots of brown browns and uh, enough blues which I use a lot for landscape if it has more uh, greens maybe this will be perfect already for me but it's not bad because you can mix 
you can mix green so this is my usual <laughs> uh, landscape painting for for swatch after swatching uh, I uh, put um, land area and a body of water so that I can uh, use if not all most of the colors that I have let's make um, a warm purple let's add some more let's try Jane Spray yeah Spray I love how easily the colors lift. You don't actually need to pre-wet the the colors. So let's now go to see how it easily do it. But I don't think this cover works well as a palette because it drops the colors down because it's not sealed in this area it's open see it's open it's dripping anyway so let's paint the water let's allow it to uh, drip off and let's have again purple the permanent alizarin crimson is very strong I just you know put a dot of my brush on it and it absorbed lot of lots of paints or paint already Okay, so let's go to the sky. Let's pre wet. Should we have a sunset sky or just a blue one? Let's have both. No, a sunrise. -y. So let's get, let's see how cool this yellow can achieve. Let's just use small amount of that's good and let's try the it's making beans oh cerulean chromium it's working fine and the purple that we made see and a little bit of kinacridone to warm to warm the this portion or pure oil. there you have it
so now that the, our background is already ready we have to wait for it to dry a little bit some deeper shades of ultramarine you can see the granulation forming so since it's not dry yet you can see that the uh, the sky and the mountain mountains are already uh, mixing but it's fine because we're just you know testing it anyway anyway while we're waiting for it to dry let's check out information card so aside from the ultimate mixing set we also have um, floral cottage gardens to botanicals which also has six colors i think um, the six col uh, uh, other sets of six colors are 2,300 or 2,500 pesos. You can check out on this art room, uh, this art room's page, which I will be uh, putting on the description of this video. Another another set is the uh, Earth Desert to Mountains, which includes obviously browns. And another set is the blues or serene to dramatic, which obviously are beautiful blue shades. And another set is the sketcher set, which looks like uh, includes the primaries and two browns. And lastly, the colors of inspiration. So it also shows here how they did the pouring which includes first pouring second pouring and third pouring so in this ultimate mixing set um, all the colors are rated light fastness number one so they have um, the highest or excellent light fastness rating even the uh, the permanent laser and crimson and most of them are single pigment except for Jane's gray which uh, is a combination of ult ultramarine blue and raw umber and the uh, permanent laser and crimson which is a combination of PR177 PV19 and PR149 what else and the quinacrylon gold since this is already the new formula it's now composed of two pigments py150 and po48 so i guess we can uh, put the details of our landscape painting so now i'm putting some trees but i need to make my green so I'm making a warm green I'm mixing my Kernacrylon gold with uh, thalo green but this green is too uh, too lively for me so I'm gonna try to mix it with James James gray so this looks better and some more brown um, a lighter maybe this one and James okay and I want a warmer green and yellow it's like an olive touch it's okay so here
my neighbor is fixing their their gate so <laughs> they're welding some some parts of their gate so my apologies for the noise so let's put some structures here And some trees. So we're not gonna be putting too many details here because this is a five by three small <laughs> painting. So we're just making illusions. Since this is a uh, tropical painting, or uh, I mean a local feel painting, I'm putting some palm trees or coconut coconut trees. So as you can see, it's it's still possible to achieve. Uh, multiple shades of green with this set which is cool so for the landscape painters don't have to worry I can attest <laughs> it's working fine so here is a closer uh, foliage or plant So let's just put some more details here. Let's say a boat. Wait, let me just pan it nearer. So I'd like to uh, paint a boat. Sorry. Somewhere here. Here is the boat and the uh, reflection there you go and one more maybe here and there you go so let's again intensify <laughs> the mountain that is lost <laughs> some parts are washed already so we don't actually need to bring all the details back but just the illusion that there is a mountain there will do and some 
gray gray uh, sky or clouds So for our last few details, I'm using the drains gray directly from the pan, maybe with some green that's left. show more illusion of details the details got lost so there you go So here is our um, sample painting using our Daniel Smith Ultimate Mixing Set. So uh, here is our finished sample painting using our Daniel Smith Ultimate Mixing Set. And I'm really happy and I'm actually quite surprised with how good or versatile the set turned because I was able to achieve the colors that I am not actually expecting to get from from this set immediately or easily um, I have no problems with the, the colors um, the only thing I noticed is that I wish they could have made this cover more functional as a palette or I mean yeah a mixing palette because yeah that's my only complaint because I cannot lay it flat and this side is not is it is not um, sealed so the paint when you use it as your palette will just slide down so if you mix you have to uh, to uh, make sure that you mix just enough paint for it not to fully slide down so but overall I'm happy with this set because this is Daniel Smith, and I'm excited to uh, fill this f um, empty uh, palette with my uh, Daniel Smith collection. And yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. overall, I'm giving it a thumbs up. So um, in the next days, I will be using this more often, and I might be filling this up with the colors that are not here and be the colors that I I like 
so um please stay tuned and if you enjoyed watching my video please hit the subscribe button thank you